Hello, everyone, and welcome to the Trade Ideas Live Trading Room Recap for Friday, March the 11th. My name is Barry. Running Anderson. up. I'm the moderator of our trading room. This is the address to get into the room, and it is a free room. Uh, I'm live on the mic all day long between 9 a.m. and 4 p.m. Eastern, and I do share my screen. And if you would like to take out a subscription to Trade Ideas and get a discount on it, this is the link to use. You've been in the room before as a guest and you're and you're thinking about it uh, please use this link because this is a uh, link will help the room and, and will definitely keep the room free okay well pretty boring day and i anticipate that next week you know we only have uh, 240 companies releasing earnings and this is why you know even though we had the early uh, early in the week we had a lot of plays and we had some really good plays also here to be honest um, you know, I don't concentrate probably enough on this window like I should, but, uh, you know, people in the room are definitely plucking some good trades out of this. So, you know, that makes me feel good also. Um, but a lot of the plays when they were, when this, uh, window was really humming was because we had a lot of, uh, companies releasing earnings. So, um, you know, as, as earnings season is really starting to wind down, we won't have this quite a, quite as, a, as active, though I see that we do have some of the energy plays are coming back in. However, let's take a look at the stock that I am waiting on. And this is PSG. And a lot of us in the room are in this one. I'm in at uh, 405, okay? Let me just get this a little bit bigger. And I sort of jokingly said that I w wanted to do the video because the last two times I've done this video, and you know, it is live, the market is still open, it's uh, 152. The last two times I've done this video, uh, the stocks I've been in have uh, popped up nicely. I think a couple of days ago was Buffalo, and I can't remember the one yesterday, but at any rate, uh, I'd like to see this one get into the 20s. Uh, if you don't know about this, they've, they're in... I don't know what the correct term is if they've declared bankruptcy. I know they've closed a bunch of stores and all, but uh, uh, but at any rate, we're looking certainly at a, at a nice little rebound here uh, the last few days. Um, you know, if they weren't, if the, if this wasn't under bankruptcy, um, sort of that umbrella, I you know I have ha had half a mind that I might even hold this one. Uh, would sell some for sure into the into the close, especially if it if it keeps this uh, nice pattern. The time frame, especially if it keeps, come on, keeps this nice pattern. It's been pretty darn steady. Uh, you know, once it broke four, I waited for it uh, to break four. Actually, I put in what, what's called an anticipatory order at 405. Notice how it got up uh, up here. Uh, actually, right here on this candle, I think it broke over four, and then it came back down, and then on this candle, uh, now I had a little bit of a sweat here. Uh, wondering if it was going to break down below four again, but it didn't. But I put what's called an anticipatory order. I placed the order at 405, and um, and that that's where I am. So I'm still holding. Haven't sold anything yet. Um, again, I'm I'm looking that it would be great, obviously, if it could get get into the 20s, and then I'll decide what I want to do. So I'm just keep this tucked on uh, my other monitor, and I'll keep an eye on it. And maybe I can, during the course of this uh, video, it might pop into the 20s. What else did I do? Uh, again, it was pretty, uh, pretty light day for me, actually. Not, which actually is the way I used to trade. In trading, I've, I've probably, in my in my mind anyway, I've probably been a little bit over trading, and so I'm more, much more comfortable only doing about three or four trades a day. Now I actually did one, two, three, four, five, six trades, but. Um, so let's take a look at some of them and why I, why I got into them. CCRN was the first trade. Now CCRN, I'm just going to bring it on. Just we're trying to get the screen a little bit bigger, or the uh, chart a little bit bigger, and you'll see what uh, what happened here. And just get the symbol linking off the other chart so I can keep following it. Okay, so CCRN. Now, notice what it did. Should it look better on a five-minute uh, chart? I actually looked at this um, to see what it did yesterday. All right, when I'm doing the video. Okay, this was a sh this was a, a sock that was really, really moving down a lot. You know, it moved down, 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 and look what it did in the last 15 minutes. This caught my eye, and actually, I, the, the room was already closed, but I actually got in a little bit of a scalp here. 
And this was actually, and it was in the options window also, okay? So just so you know what I do, is I will take all the stocks that were, that are in this option window. <sighs> Sorry, again, apologize when I'm doing the video and, and, uh, and have Omnovia um, up, uh, my platform gets a little bit uh, sluggish and there's a little bit of a lag. Anyway, I'll take all the stocks that are in this window and I will put them into a watch list. And here are my two watch lists. And it's the same, same watch list as, as in each one of them. Um, I'll just show you what I mean by that. If I go into symbol list, symbol list, watch list, that's what we call watch lists. And you see I have something called a daily watch list. And the daily watch list, of course, gets changed every day because obviously, obviously in my option play window, I have different stocks every day. So this daily watch list, list gets uh, updated. Once the market's closed, I will look at all the stocks that appeared in the option play. I will add and I will take out the old ones and I'll put in the new ones. And so that's what these two are about. They're the same watch list. The only thing I've done is I've just sorted them. I've, I've divided it into two and I've sorted it so that the stocks that are near the high of the day are at the top here and the ones that are near the low of the day are at the top here. So I can kind of see the ones that are, you know, still pretty active, maybe going in the same direction as they were yesterday. So that's not necessarily true. You like this could be a stock that's at the high of the day and it could have been one that was uh, tanking uh, the day before. So it doesn't really matter, but I am interested in it now. Let me just show you that, and it's not on here now, but at one point, CCRN was at the high, what was, was at the top of this list. And so at 11.18, so I, when I looked at this list at about 11.18, the price was 11.18. I took the trade right here. And it was a fast trade. Uh, these are these are well these are five minute candles and it was a very fast trade. I was out at um, 11 11:40. There's 11:42. Was at 11:40 and then as it came down at 11:30. So it was a fast trade. And remembering you know the fact that it would really tank the day before, this was not like this this stock was in a in a great uptrend or anything. So that's why I was I was pretty quick with it. But it was a nice trade. It was a very quick trade. And basically just because I I saw that it was at the top of this list here. So let me just back these two out and back another monitor. Now the next trade I took was party and it actually turned out pretty nicely. You know, we were able to make a little pun. Of course, it's party time. And this came from the options window. Let's see if I can find it. I don't know why this is there. This uh, hopefully this is still recording. So this is in the options window. Let me just have to find there our party at 12.91. Okay, so there was the alert at 12.91. So I waited for the break of the whole number. So there there is 12.91 right here. Just one second, please. All right, so I waited for the break of the whole number. So there, you know, the alert was at uh, 1291, right down here. I waited for the break of the whole number. Got in at uh, 1303. Put a mark up right around there. So I got in right right around here at 1303, and basically, you know, I got another very very quick trade. You know, and now it is just uh, falling apart. But again, I don't really care about uh, what happened later on. Obviously, when I got into the trade, it was moving well. So got out of the trade at a um, couple areas, 1321, and up here at 1343, 43 right up here, 1443 and 1440, uh, 1344. So another quick trade, that's what a lot of these are. You know, they're very quick trades, and which I really like. I mean, I don't like the, you know, you never know what can happen to the overall market. Uh, some news comes out on, in the market and can just destroy a trade, uh, and, and not because of anything specific to the stock, but just the overall market. So that's why I really do like the, uh, the quicker trades. And that is really about it. I did take a loss on ALK, A-L-K. That was an options play. I took a, a 10 cent loss on ALK. And also on KFY, that was another uh, options play. Just didn't quite work out. Do it KFY. See what it's doing right now. Yeah. 
easier to see on the 15 minute time frame. Here we go. So on the 15 minute time frame, this, this is what I was alerted at uh, right here. I think the alert was actually around 2610. Got into the trade at uh, 2617 right about here almost at the high unfortunately and then as it started moving down uh, at the trigger I, I, I exited at 2610 and it's just kind of fallen apart since then so uh, now this one is one of those let me make sure that yeah this yeah it, you know again this is one that I, we wa I watched all day yesterday just tank and did, unfortunately did not get into it and so with that in mind, you know, it's not like this stock was in a tremendous uptrend. Uh, so that's why I was, uh, you know, very, very quick to take out the, uh, take this out in case it started doing this again. Anyway, um, it's the end of the week. <laughs> it's a long week. Uh, how's my PSG doing? Not as great as I wanted it to. I wanted to get, I'm, I was hoping to get it into the 20s as we were doing the video. But anyway, I'll, I'll have to see. This is one that, you know, if it holds on, uh, I would keep watching it next week. Uh, it still has a, a gap to fill. Again, I know the bankruptcy is, is is a big overhang on it, but you just never know with these things. And again, if you take a look at the uh, daily chart on it, you're going to see, I mean, th there, there's where all the trouble happened uh, three days ago. And so it was up 870 and all the way down to 279. So it's had a pretty nice uh, pop from here. So, you know, there are people obviously gambling that maybe there's some kind of a rescue happening. I really don't know. I really don't care. Um, you know, but th of course, that would make me a little reluctant perhaps to hold this uh, over the weekend. Uh, you never know what sort of news might come out. But anyway, we'll have to see how it, how it closes. All right. Well, everyone, thanks very much for listening. And again, here is the... Come on, close down. Here is the address to get into our free trading room omnovi is a great platform let's say i share my screen all day long on the mic live between 9 and 4 p.m eastern standard time and if you'd like a subscription to trade ideas you'll get a discount if you use this link um that'd be great and otherwise we'll see you on in the trading room monday morning bye bye